Oklahoma. I know we're Texans, but we love Oklahoma. We really do, especially me. I spent every summer with my grandma. Love her with all my heart. I'm going to see her again in heaven. Bartlesville, Oklahoma. I spent every summer with her. Love grandma with all my heart. And grandpa too. More, more grandma than grandpa, just saying. She was sweeter. But oh, how much I love Oklahoma. So Bartlesville, Dewey area has a special place in my heart and always will. Love me to heaven on earth is Oklahoma. The only thing a little bit better is Texas. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> we really want y'all to like become Texas too. Just make our state bigger. Right? And then maybe Arkansas, New Mexico, and it all just be Texas. I'm just saying. That would be so fun. Uh, <laughs> you know, I actually own land in Oklahoma. Yeah, and that's cool. Uh, just a few things before we get going. Uh, we have some amazing vendors here. We have our MCO guy, Tony. Tony, raise your hand, wave to everybody. It's just one step in the process to get your car out of the state system where you are the superior title holder. Tony's your guy. We have Katie over here. Katie, Katarina, I'm sorry, I give you a nickname. Katarina does um, AOR help, so if you need help doing your AOR, she's your girl. Um, she also has some amazing t-shirts for sale with some liberty messages that really prompt people to ask questions like, what do you mean CPS is a child trafficking agency? Why does it say that on your t-shirt? You're like, yeah, it is. Let me explain to you, you know, how we know this. Um, we also have seven K medals. We have Marcella back there. Raise your hand, Marcella. Wave to everybody. Um, we don't really promote crypto at all. So if you ever see that on Telegram, that's not us. Because a lot of people pretend to be David on Telegram. And then they promote people to get on crypto. We don't do crypto. But what Marcella has is precious metal backed IRF, IRF, 401ks. Precious metal back 401k. So she also has a program to get um, silver bullion and silver coin in your hands. Because we know that's real money. And also Article 1, Section 10 of the U.S. Constitution, it is gold or silver coin that pays off debt. Did you know that? I know y'all know that. I'm just refreshing your memory. Um, we also have Glenn who is a senator from the Republic of Texas, and he co-authored a book that we've got over at this table where I'll be sitting with my assistant, Gwen. And uh, hi, Glenn. Wave hi to everybody. <laughs> yeah, so Glenn is the co-author with Mike Blackwell. Both of them hold office at the Republic of Texas, and Glenn can sign that book if you buy it. He can give you an, uh, an, uh, an autographed book. Glenn is all over TikTok. This little 19-year-old is standing so firm in our liberty movement that she puts all kinds of info on TikTok on State Nationals Rock website. So we love what they're doing. They're hand in hand with what we're doing, so we're all coming underneath the same umbrella, excited to stand firm on our rights and set our people free. Okay, did I say and, and we have another should, should we introduce them? I don't know. It's kind of scary to introduce our new vendors to you guys. We're wondering if you're just going to leave class and just go line up and sign up and talk to them the whole time. Forget about us. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> Wayne, raise your hand. Say hi. And your brother, David. These men are from New York. They came all the way to <laughs> to help us learn how to discharge debt. And that is their experience. So what we're going to wind up doing is we're going to have a Davis Strait seminar in our hometown area with them where they're going to do the workshop after the Davis Strait seminar. So it's going to be more of a two and three where you workshop and you're going to like know how to file documents to discharge your mortgage, your car, your 
Student loan, your kids' student loan, all kinds of goodies. So they're they're an awesome asset to have on our team. We're excited that they're here. Um, there are restrooms on this side of the room, and also when you first came in, we had coffee and refreshments and a few fresh fruits for those of you that have low blood sugar moments. Go get a little bit of fresh fruit sugar. Uh, we tried to pick healthy snacks. We went into Sam's yesterday and. The beautiful muffins that we thought were so delicious, we turned over on the ingredient list that said aluminum. I'm like, I'm not feeding that to my people. My people want their mind working and not to cause dementia and Alzheimer's. No, I'm not buying those for my people. We have to be careful what we what we eat. Um, baby. <laughs> should I should I stop talking now? <laughs> Y'all have already been prayed over before you got here, this whole room and everybody here. But I want to pray again, because we can never, the scripture says, pray without ceasing. Come boldly to the throne of grace that you may obtain mercy and find grace and help in time of need. So let's pray again, shall we? Yeah, before we get going. Dear Heavenly Father, we love you so much. We come before you with just humble yet happy hearts, excited, dear Lord, about what you're doing to restore this mighty nation. Dear Lord, Oklahoma is so blessed. Thank you for all these people that have opened up their hearts and, and their lives to come and be a part of this movement that you have started, Lord. This is not about us, it's about you. You are waking up the people, we're so grateful. We wanna be a part of this movement, dear Lord. We just wanna be trailblazers in our communities. I pray that you put a special blessing and anointing on all these people that are here that you turn on their heart life, that it would never be shut off, that we just are so on fire for you and so in love with you that we just cannot stop talking about the freedom that you have given us when you sent your son to die on the cross to set us free, to take dominion back from the enemy. Dear Lord, we bind any and all demonic activity. We... Um, any type of contamination that might have been brought into this room, we bind it and cast it out in Yahshua's name. Dear Lord, we pray for David that you give him what he needs to glorify you. That you bless his feet, that you bless his legs, his back, his shoulders, his neck, his mind, his mouth, and that he speak words that would give glory to your name. Dear Lord, heal him, restore him. Bless him, shield him, and protect him. I pray, dear Lord, that special anointing and blessing over every soul in this room. Bless them, their family members, and everyone that they know, dear Lord. I pray for your will, your wisdom, your grace, your mercy. Shield us, dear Lord, from the enemy's attacks. And I praise you and thank you. In Yahshua's precious name, I pray. Amen. Amen. David, no wordy dirts in this, because this is a sanctuary. No wordy dirts, David. Sure, we did. this is this is anointed soil. We do have a very special. Should I tell them about Sunday morning? Sure. Okay, so there's a special surprise. I'm, I feel so blessed and, and so humbled. Normally they would have worship service here on Sunday morning. They've asked somebody to speak and do a special sermon. And it's going to be me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so blessed and I'm so excited because the message I have is so rich with layers of truth. And I'm going to share with you one of my favorite Bible stories. And I promise you, when I share this message with you, all, you will never look at that scripture the same way. It is so beautiful, but not on the surface. It looks like kind of a weird story. And then you're like, oh, it's a beautiful story. And I'm excited to impart that. If you will come on Sunday at 9 a.m., we will have worship, and then David will begin the David Strait Seminar at 10. So we work that out with the pastor of this church. A few other things. We have land patent books at the table. Ron gives some land patent books. 
teach you about land patents and the power of having superior titles in your land. I also have a book um, that the Republic of Texas Vice President Mike Blackwell wrote called Fraud by Treason, Lies, and Deceit. That book um, is very similar to everything that David teaches. It talks about the all capital name, the fraud, how the fraud came in, the whole thing. So I know when David imparts what he does, it's like drinking from a fire hydrant. This book will help you to like go back and see, oh yeah, I remember David talked about it. So anyway, it's very helpful. I also have another book. It's a, a deeply spiritual book. The author wrote it. She was born in 1833 and died in 1917. She wrote about this country and the things that we are dealing with right now. She also wrote about the very last events that will happen in, in Earth's history prior to our Savior's return. The very last things that will happen on this planet before his return. This book is so full of truth that it's outlawed in Europe. I know. And again, this lady died in 1917, but she wrote about things that she, that God gave her to write. She's the most translated author in the world, into more languages than any other author. Um, I can't say enough good about that book. It is so deep and so rich and so spiritual and so insightful. And like somebody bought it at one of our other events and just um, shared with me today. He's been reading and he's like, thank you so much. That book is rich with truth. Another interesting point about the book is that the Satanists and Illuminati are instructed to read everything this author wrote. She wrote a lot of books, but this is her, her bestseller. They are instructed to read her books in order to counteract the movement of righteousness. Isn't that interesting? And I've been in a few garage sales and estate sales where I can tell it was a mason that died. You know, like they had the there are little books and stuff, and you're like, oh, yeah, I see the, the G. And anyway, they had her books in their library. They are instructed to read her books so that they can counteract the righteousness. It's, isn't that interesting? It, Ellen G. White. And the name of the book is The Great Controversy. Has anybody read it? Yes. Isn't it beautiful? I just keep rereading. Anyway, we've got those books. Oh, and we've got the truck. We already talked about the Trump, and then, yeah, and Glenn is the co-author of the Trump book. Is he a patriot or not, that book? What else? Oh, we have a right to travel book. Travel by right. Yeah, so come talk to us about the books at your leisure. We cannot take a break as a whole group because, you know, we 250 people flooding, you know, five bathrooms. So when you need to go, help yourself. Uh, anything else? Oh. One additional thing. When David speaks, it may trigger something that, oh, you want to raise your hand, you want to talk. Do this, please. Write it down. Write it down. Refrain. Because here's what happens. David, even though he doesn't go off a script, he goes by a structure that's already in his mind. But if somebody raises their hand and he answers their question, at least to 30 other questions, and then two hours later, David forgets where he was. And so it kind of gets, it turns into a spider web scramble vest. So write down your questions. And I promise you, by the end of the seminar, those questions are very likely will be answered already. Because it's in the content. You will share more than you could ever think to ask. You'll be like, whoa, stop with the information. It's too much. Yeah, just keep absorbing as much as you can. Um, Write down the questions. You can bring them to me. At the end of the seminar, we can ask David whatever questions are left over. Is there anything I'm forgetting? For us, and our trying to keep the same seats here. Yeah. Chosen now. Okay. Try to keep the same seats. Uh, we ran out of the little name tag shields, so we're going to go buy some more. Oh, yes. I'm going to share this, too. Um, we're going to get you, if you just got a piece of paper, we're going to get you a name tag shield. Or if you got a little sticky that sticks to the fabric of your shirt, let's get you a, a, one with a little shield and a pin so you can put it on. At the end of the seminar, on Sunday, you're going to turn all of those fancy little plastic 
name tag Shields into me and you're going to get a lottery ticket. Because we will do a drawing for a one ounce silver coin. And other things. So when you turn that back in, I will give you a ticket for the uh, drawing. That's on Sunday at the end of the day. Is there anything else I'm forgetting? All right, David, God bless you. This is David Strait, everybody. Cell phones on vibrate, that'd be great too. Yeah, because usually we get in about two minutes and we'll want.